In this video, Garrett Hill, a living kidney donor and the founder and CEO of the National Kidney Registry, and Dr. Robert Montgomery, chair of the Department of Surgery and director of New York University's Langone's Transplant Institute, discuss the benefits that can be expected from receiving a low eplet mismatch transplant. Bob, you're the lead investigator in a, a prospective uh, clinical trial. Uh, I know it hasn't been uh, accepted yet. It's in the proposal state. Give us kind of a quick overview of that uh, clinical trial. Right. So here's here's the way the clinical trial that that we've envisioned would go. So um, we take um, the the patients who uh, you know are compatible with each other by blood type and and by tissue. They're compatible, but they they're unlikely to be the best the, the best match for each other, okay? So just based on, um, you know, probability alone, the likelihood of getting one of these low eplet mismatches from just bringing, you know, a relative or a friend um, to the table um, who is going to donate directly to you is only about 15%. So 85% of the people who receive a kidney, a living donor kidney from their loved one, you know, the person who donates to them directly miss out on this opportunity. So first of all, it, it's an opportunity to get a kidney that is predicted to last longer have a lower risk of rejection and a lower likelihood of retransplantation in the future. That's, that's the big bonus. But then beyond that, what we have proposed is that we engineer a large number of these transplants in patients who are compatible by putting them into the um, NKR and in a purposeful way um, matching them into one of these low eplet mismatch um, uh, transplants. So, so you uncouple that donor and recipient, you put them into the pool, and then you find the best donor for them. And their donor gives to someone else who they're better for. And then we randomize those individuals into three different um, immunosuppressive regimens. The traditional ones that just, you know, um, involve the uh, uh, tacrolimus and Celsept, one where we have a reduced dose of the uh, tacrolimus, so they don't, they're less likely to have the side effects. And um, less likely to have actual kidney damage from the, the drug. And then a uh, tacrolimus free arm, um, which we use another drug that doesn't have those kinds of side effects. And then we compare the three and see if compared to you know standard of care therapy, whether these low eplet mismatch load patients do just as well um, with lower immunosuppression as um, they, they do with standard immunosuppression. And then you've realized a big benefit. 